Hey, this is Brock Lemaires, and in this video, I'm going to talk about standard output in a C programming language and look at the printf function. Okay, so one of the most common things that you do when you're programming in C is print information back to the terminal or back to the shell in the form of text. And the reason you do that is because you can have a program which you know, outputs information and reads in information, then returns text. But a lot of times when you're you're doing like data analysis or a complicated program, you're trying to figure out if your program is working. And one of the, and a really powerful technique is to insert print F statements or, or print information at particular points in your program. So you know where you're at and you can print out values that you're doing interim calculations on just to make sure if you're actually getting the information that you think you're getting. And so it's it's a very powerful thing and you do it probably the most of any other function in uh, C. <clears throat> okay, so when you say standard output, that means printing something to the shell. So you're going to run a program <clears throat> and it's going to print something back to you. Okay, that's what standard output is. <clears throat> now, standard output is, is viewed on a monitor, uh, but it's, it's in the shell on the monitor. Okay, there is a function that is called print F and that stands for formatted printing and it basically prints you know American English language characters so all of the letters in the alphabet in addition to symbols like exclamation points and quotes and stuff like that this function actually resides within this library called the standard io.h library <clears throat> so you'll hear this called it's a header file right so it's dot h but it's standard io so almost every C program starts by including the standard IO library or the standard IO header file. And that's because you're trying to get access to this function called print F. Now print F, uh, we'll start very simple. We're just going to print text in this video and then we'll move to like variables later. Uh, but in this example, this is an example of, of printing something back to the screen. So you type print F, there's no return, right? It's, it, this is a function, but it doesn't return anything. It just runs. And and what you do is you put in parentheses the arguments that you pass to this printf function. And the way it works is if you put double quotes, it will print the text that's in here. Okay. And then at the end, you put a semicolon. In addition to text, you can have what we call uh, escape characters. And that gives additional information that you want to print that isn't text. As an example, this is a new line character. So if you if you wanted to say hello world and then put a, a return, you would have to ha specify that somehow instead of just like putting a return in this printf function. And so slash n is how you do that. Okay, and we'll go through all those. Okay, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> There's a bunch of these different character or uh, escape characters, and we'll kind of look at them as we go. But for now, let's code along. All right. So let me move the slides over here, and I'm going to start a PowerShell. And what I'm going to do is I'll bring this over here and we're going to code up and just play around with doing some some printf testing. <clears throat> OK, so I'm in PowerShell and I'm in Windows and I'm going to go ahead and go back to directories and go into this directory I created called CSCI 109. So I'm in Windows at C colon CSCI 109. So that's my Windows default that I start in this code along. I'm going to SSH over into the CSCI server. So I'm going to up arrow because my history is going to probably have SSH in it. And there it is. SSH net ID at cscci109.cs.montana.edu. I hit return. I type in my password. And I'm in. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at where I'm at. So I do an LL and it's like, okay, so there's some of the stuff that I've been messing around with. Let's make a folder for the module three code along. Okay, so I'm gonna make a, a folder and make a directory by doing MKDIR and I'm gonna call it mod 03 code along. And now I make that, I take a look at what's in there and there, there it is. So now let's go ahead and change directories into mod 03 and I'm going to type mod 03 and then I'm going to hit tab and use the autocomplete function. So I go ahead and do that. And now I'm inside of this. So let me check out where I'm at present working directory. Okay, mod 3 code along and I'm good to go. So let me clear the screen and now I'm ready to do some coding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file that's called print underscore print f underscore testing dot c and I'm going to do that with vim. So I'm going to go vim 
And then I say print F underscore testing dot C. And now I'm in my program code. All right, so here is my program. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up here so you can kind of see it. And we're gonna bring an, another terminal online to do our compiling. And we'll do that once we're ready to save. <clears throat> All right, so let's, let's, since we're just coding along, let's go ahead and get into insert mode by hitting I. And now I'm in the insert mode, which allows me to type. So I'm gonna start with a comment header. And this isn't an assignment. So we'll just put a uh, like test, testing of print F. And I'm basically kind of following along with the example that I typed in the slides, but I'm doing it in real time so that you can code along kind of at the same speed. So I do a multi-line comment, but I'm really not using multi-line. So I just open it and close it, no big deal. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is in the pre-processor section, meaning that it's the area between the comment header and my main function, I'm gonna put an include uh, statement, okay, or directive. So I do this, I go pound include, and then I give it stdio.h. What I did there was I brought in, so brought in stand, standard io header, oh boy, header file to use printf, okay? So printf is a function in that, in that header file. Header file and library are terms that are used kind of interchangeably. And so some people will always call these these uh, library files. Some will call them header files. Some people technically say you have a set of header files within the library, whatever. <clears throat> it's just include standard io.h. <laughs> okay. So now we're ready to create our main function. So here's what we do. Int main void and then open a curly. And then here's what I do every single program. I come down here a couple returns. I say return zero because that's what's gonna return when it's done. And then I close my curly bracket and now I have my shell for my main program. Okay, so let me uh, delete a couple lines there. All right, so I go ahead and get into command mode to save this and I put col colon write and now I have my file. So at this moment in time, I have a, a file called printf underscore testing, and I'm ready to basically write some stuff. So let's just do the most basic thing we can do. I'm gonna go back into insert mode by, I hit escape to get into normal mode in Vim, then I arrowed up, and then I hit I to get into insert mode, and I'm gonna hit tab, and tab goes over four spaces. And now I'm gonna put a, uh, let's put a, a line header that says testing, uh, or, Let's do playing with print F. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Type print F and then open curly and then do some stuff about me. Close it, okay? So there we have it. I didn't put any escape characters in there because I wanna show you what this looks like. All right, so now I have this and it's print F and it's gonna print that out in, in theory. So let's now compile this. So I'm gonna bring over another PowerShell window, and I'm in Windows right now, so I'm gonna go back to directories and then into my CSCI. PowerShell is pretty cool because if you get the, the direction of the slashes wrong, it auto automatically corrects it. So I don't even try to like type in the backslash, I always type forward slash and it just corrects it for me. So then I can type the slashes just like I'm in, in Linux. All right, same thing. I'm gonna SSH over into the CSCI server. So I up arrow to go through my command history. There is my SSH command, life is good. I hit return, password. Can't talk while I type my password or I messed up. And now here I am. So I look at the host name. It's like, okay, I'm over on CSCI 109. And let's go ahead and do LL. Okay, there's my folders. I got, I'm gonna change into mod 03 where I'm working. So I go CD mod 03 and now I'm gonna hit the tab button to autocomplete and now let's check out what's in here ll lo and behold there's my printf testing all right life is good so let's go ahead and compile this so let, let me clear this screen and now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna type gcc and then I'm gonna do printf testing but I'm gonna hit the tab key to autocomplete and it found it so it's like oh okay now I'm gonna do dash o for output I'm gonna say printf underscore testing with no extension. And that means that this is going to be an executable. All right, so I go ahead and hit return. 
and it worked. Let's do it one more time, but with the warnings all option on. So I hit up arrow to get my command history. There it is. I do dash capital W A L L and lo and behold, no warnings. All right, so let's run this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Sunny Holland, which is look in this folder right here, right now and run this file. So before I do that, let me do an LL. Printf testing, there is my, my executable file, no extension, and it's green, okay? And so I'm gonna do this, dot forward slash printf testing and go. Okay, it did it. So check this out, some stuff about me. And then it had the <laughs> prompt on it, okay? And you look at that and it's like, well, it did work, but it's really ugly, right? It didn't put a return rare there. So that's where you have to start putting in these escape characters. So now let me go up here and check this out. If I come in here and I go, I'm gonna put I to get into um, insert mode and I put backslash N, that is now a, a uh, escape character. So I go ahead and save it. I hit escape and then I do colon W to save it. Come down here and now watch. I'm gonna go up arrow to get my compile on. Did it. Now the up arrow to go back and through my command history and run it. And now look at what happened. It had a return on there. It's like, okay, okay, this is all right. Let's go ahead and try some other things. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's come down here and go insert, tab it over. I'm gonna go print F. Let's take a look at some other escape characters. You can do slash T for tab. And so watch this, I go, my name is Rock. And then I'm gonna go uh, return, okay? Double quote, and then I'm good to go. I go ahead and save that. I'll come up here and let me, let me put another return in there to kind of make this formatted nicely. I come down here after I save it and I up arrow to go through my command history. I GCC it to compile it. It creates the output file again. Each time I compile it, I'm overwriting this executable printf testing. I'm gonna up arrow to go through my command history to get to where I run it and I say run. And now look at that, some stuff about me. My name is Brock. Okay, life is good, life is good. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, um, insert print F and I'm going to say tab it again. And then my favorite number is 22. Turn it. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's do this print F. Actually, let's not do that yet. So, <laughs> okay. So here it is, very simple. Uh, it, but this whole, the whole point is, is getting familiar with printf, getting familiar with GCC, and getting familiar with running it. I up arrow again to my GCC command that was on my command history. Life is good. Go ahead and run it. Oh, look at all this text is is forming here, and so everything's kind of cool here. Now, here's a couple things to think about. Um, there are escape characters that allow you to do, <clears throat> uh, to print things. Okay, so like as an example, let's say I wanted to, to do this, okay? Let's I come over here and I say print F and I wanna print a quote, okay? I wanna print a double quote. You can't print a double quote directly because it is, ex print F is using the double quote as part of the information to print back. And so it's like, what, what are you doing here? So in order to print like a double quote, you have to do an escape character in front of it. So if I did this, if I get slash double quote, that's how I print a double quote, <clears throat> okay? So let me, let me, uh, here, let me, let me do this. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So. I'm trying to print this cool thing here. So let me, okay, so I'm, I'm getting this here. Here's what I wanna do, here's what I wanna do. I wanna say this. I wanna go tab, and then I wanna say I like, and then quotes, okay? And then I wanna return, return, okay? So that is what I'm trying to print, okay? <clears throat> I, I save this and Vim says, oh man, you got, you got some problems here. It didn't even compile it, it just probably thought I had an issue. So you look at that and you're like, why is it freaking out about the quotes? It's because quotes are expected as part of printf. So in order to print actual quotes, what I'd have to do is put an escape character in front of them. So I put forward slash and then I go over here and do forward slash. And now when I save it, it looks like it's gonna work. So now I go over here and I write, I do GCC and then I do that and I finally have 
quotes. <laughs> okay, so there it is. All right, so here's the other ones. If you want to do a backslash, you have to escape it. If you want to do a single quote or double quote, you have to escape it. And that's basically it. So you can essentially play around with the formatting of printf in order to make things look good and line stuff and put returns in there. And again, printf is going to be one of the most popular things that you do in there. Okay, but you did it. Nice work. That is your first program playing around with printf and standard output. Nice job.